Yes, team, welcome back to FIT. Today, we've got a 10-minute strength class, perfect for you runners who want to build that low body strength and core stability. That's going to transfer to your running performance. Team, it is an intense workout, but it's a short workout so you can fit it in on a training day. Team, let's work hard. Let's give it our all so we can make the most out of this workout. Take a wide stance. Let's start with our warm-up. Hips back, chest forward, Cossack squat, feeling that range, and then coming up. Speeding up slowly, trying to get deeper and deeper if you can. If you want to, you can lift that foot. It's going to help you get a little bit more range. 10 seconds here. Taking your time here, team. Finding that range. It is just a warm up. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go reverse lunge rotation. Same leg each time. Step it back, rotate over that front leg and stand up. Same leg, stand up. Nice work, team. Keeping that knee in the same direction as your toes to keep that knee nice and safe. 10 more seconds here. You're going to change sides. That leg feel nice and warm and ready to go. Two, one. Check it out. Let's change sides. Rotating, warming up our lower body as well as our upper body here. Nice work, team. Ten seconds, and then we're going to focus on getting that heart rate up. Head switched on here, ready for the workout ahead. Three, two, one. You're going to go, come up, jog it out a little bit, and then let's add an A skip. Hand to pocket, hand to mouth. Get that heart rate up, and set your intentions for the rest of the workout. It is short, but trust me, if you work hard, it's going to be intense. Nice work, team. Speed up a little bit. Come on. Last few seconds. Two, one. Yes, team, we're going to go in our first section. It is a technical phase. So if you do have a fit device, reps are not tracked here, only in the challenge. First exercise, you know what it is. Wide stance. We're going back to that Cossack squat. We're on one side, trying to seek range of motion the longer the set progresses. We're going in four, three, Two, one, come on. Hits back, chest forward. Nice work, team. Seeking out that range. You can lift that foot if you want. As runners, you forget to work that lateral plane, so side to side. Here, we are working it. Getting muscles like the glute med, which is so important for knee health, working. Two, one, and you're up. Deep breath, we're gonna progress that reverse lunge we did in the warm up. Reverse lunge, hop, land safely, switch legs. Two, one, focus on that landing. Let's go. Knee position on that lunge. Is it over your toes? Drive fast. That knee drive is gonna help you when running at speed. Stable on the landing. The more we minimize unwanted movements, the more you efficient we become here and when we run. Three, two, one. Nice work, team. We're going to go single leg. Good morning. Hinge at the hip, arms here, one leg. Feel that stretch and come up. And we're on. Get that balance. Seek that range and come up. One side will be better than the other. We're here to find our imbalances. That's why we're doing unilateral work. Iron out those imbalances that we get from repetitive running. 10 seconds here. We're getting a little bit more range if we can. Go as far as you can. Three, two, one. Let's get that core fired up. High plank position, core tight. We're going to go tap, tap. Glute switched on, core switched on. Let's go. Nice. If your core is swaying side to side, widen your stance, switch those glutes on, tighten that core and focus. If you're finding this easy, bring your feet a little bit closer. Nice work, team. 
running is not about strength training, sorry. It's not just about creating motion or resisting motion. Creating stability through the body. Three, two, one, hold it here. You're gonna hold it for the rest. You're gonna walk your hands out next set. Core tight, stable, and then walk it back. Two, one, we are in. Core tight, glutes switched on. Walk them out, walk them back in. The further you walk them out, the harder it is. Core stability is so important for running. It prevents unwanted movements that lead to injury and inefficiency, which slows us down. Head switched on for the challenge phase ahead. Three, two, one. Awesome work team. First phase done. That was some high quality strength work geared to improve your performance. Now, we're gonna take it up a notch in this challenge phase. If you have a fit device, reps are tracked. We're going 40 seconds of work. Some with that forward lunge. Three, two, one, come on. Push it team. This is where the intensity increases. Reps are tracked. If you can, if you're feeling fresh, if you're feeling strong, try and beat me, try and set the pace. Nice work, team. Stable through the knees, push off, drive for power, and repeat. Come on. Woo! You're doing it, team, come on. Push it, push it, last 10 seconds, less. Three. Two, one, you know what it is? We've got a single leg in the morning, we practiced it before. Hands crossed, hinge and come up. Can you maintain that balance? Can you maintain that technique under fatigue? You're at the last mile of your race, push it. Two, one, maintain that form and switch. Hinge, balance, find that range and switch. Nice work team, feel that stretch, come up. Technique under fatigue. Tough training here, team. Resisting movements around the ankle, knees and hips. Because more efficient. Pushing it, team, come on. Nice work. Five. Three, two, one. Last exercise, reverse lunge. We're gonna step that back leg to the side, so here. Curtsy lunge, with that glute need a bit more, make sure you focus on that knee position. Same direction as your toes. Okay, three, two, one, last exercise, let's go. Pushing it, 40 seconds. You're doing great team, come on. Gentle kiss on the floor with the back knee. Straight into the next rep. Nice work team. Over halfway, push yourself. Come on, last bit. We are leaving this map proud, come on. Nice work team, come on, push it. Last few seconds. Yes. Come on, two, one. Team, you absolutely smashed it. Technical phase in the bag, challenge phase destroyed, team. You did so, so well. Pat yourself up and back. Give yourself a big smile. Take a deep breath and meet me on the mat for our cool down. That was really awesome. Deep breaths, calming down the heart rate. High plank position. Then you're gonna go foot to hand. Find that stretch in the hip flexor. Calming down that breath. You should feel that in the back hip flexor here. Our hip flexors work super hard when we run. They're in charge of lifting that knee up every single stride. So it's important that we stretch them out because they do get super, super tight. 10 seconds here. Deep breath. And we're gonna change sides in three, two, one. It was a tough workout, but short. So I didn't get to explain all the detail for all the exercises, why they're there, why they're good for runners. If you want a bit more of a detailed explanation, check out the 25 minute strength classes. I'll give a little bit more detail. 
10 seconds here. Two, one, and you're gonna meet me on the mat. You're gonna lie down, stretch out that quad, calm yourself down. Two, one, and we're gonna change sides. Three, two, one, come up. We're gonna to come to a child's pose, nice and wide, so we can stretch our hips out a little bit more. Last 10 seconds, calm yourself down. Two, one, come up, give yourself a big smile. Team, you absolutely smashed it. Well done for prioritizing your accessory work. Remember, your accessory work to running is multifaceted. So jump in, try a run and stretch with Adrian. Awesome, more focus, strength work in the Pilates studio with Getty. I hope to see you on the mat soon.